happy January! Um, today's vlog is going to be a little more personal than normal, so sit back, have a taquito, get comfortable. I know I am. Before I share what God's been doing in my life, is this super unprofessional? Yeah, well, that's what kind of relationship we have. So now that we're all comfortable, mostly me. Today I wanted to talk about how God has recently reminded me that He sees me as clean. Though I still sin and sin and sin, God views me as righteous because of what Jesus did for me on the cross. I still often have to battle the mindset that my morality is somehow tied up in how much God will forgive me or love me. But no, I can't do anything to make God love me more or less. I'm learning that guilt is never sent by God, only conviction. Conviction leads us back to God and repentance and restoration, while guilt only leads to shame and isolation. Conviction is humility in confessing our frailty to God and accepting his forgiveness while guilt stirs up pride and convinces us to cover a matter up. Guilt is focusing on ourselves and our sin while conviction brings us right back to God and his grace and his forgiveness. So often I sin and then descend into guilt which leads to more sin to try to cover up the feelings that my conscience is giving me which leads to more guilt. It's just a vicious cycle. I'm going to conclude with Paul's words rather than my own starting in Romans 7:21. So I find it to be a law that when I want to do right, evil lies close at hand. For I delight in the law of God in my inner being, but I see in my members another law waging war against the law of my mind and making me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. Wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then I myself serve the law of God with my mind, but with my flesh I serve the law of sin. And here's the kicker. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, for the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. I'm just going to go ahead and encourage you to read Romans 6 through 8. Just go read it. It's so good. It's encouraging. I know we're all struggling with some sin or another. It'll just be a good refresher for you. I hope someone needed this encouragement as much as I did this month, and I will see you in February.